All right, for this series of videos, I'm going to be uh, going through the power head of this Johnson 15 horsepower power head. All right, first thing I'm going to do is pull the exhaust tube off. So I'm going to inspect this thing as I go. First thing I notice is how loose this tube is. So I'll be replacing the grommet inside of there, and while I'm at it, might as well replace the back one. So what I did was I labeled a couple of bags, just so I don't uh, confuse or mix up the hardware. Should make life easy in the long run. That's what that looks like. Take the tubes out. And set it aside to clean them up. Now I'll pull off the bearing head. And set it aside and clean that one up too. All right, with those off, makes it a little easier to work on the uh, thing. A little more maneuverable. So now, go ahead and pull the flywheel off. And flywheel's off. Now I'll go ahead and remove the uh, armature plate here, ignition plate, whatever you want to call it. All right, now this plate can come up and off. So what I like to do, make sure I don't lose anything. And the rectifier terminal block and that guy, all in one piece, won't lose much. I got a I got a punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that pin out of there. Now I'll go ahead and remove the throttle bracket here. And I'll put that into its own bag. Now I'll go ahead and remove the all important 15 horsepower carburetor. These are different from the 9.9s. They are expensive. Not all that easy to find. Looks decently clean inside. So what I do, I rotated that off just to get more clearance of the bolt and just make sure I screw it back in so nothing that gets lost. Now I'll go ahead and remove the cylinder head. One notable thing here is the mount is broken. That kind of sucks. Probably going to have to replace that. All right, that's off. I'll go ahead and remove the cylinder head. So quite clean inside, but still broken mount. Looks like we have some carbon deposits on the piston. No ridges on the walls. So, could be a good powerhead. We'll see how the crank and bearings look. Now I'll remove the intake manifold here. I'm gonna use air tools for this.
Reed plate looks okay. First glimpse of the crank looks okay. Just gotta get this plate off. See how it looks. Yeah, looks pretty clean. All right, now I'm gonna split the crane case. Not much room to get that out. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. My wrench already hits this. So, I need to find a way to overcome that one. So all I did was put the wrench on there a little sideways, got it loosened, and then it fit the rest of the way to come out. Oh, quarter inch wrench too. Now, we have a taper right pin right there. The problem is, all it's gonna do is hit that little stud there. So I'm gonna see if I can get there with a wrench and pry it out the other way. Nope. Well, that works too. So, inside, decently clean. Got some, uh, some grime and whatever inside of there, but I'll clean it out. Should work okay. All right, now I'm gonna pull the pistons apart. So what I'm gonna do is mark it, top and bottom. All I do for that is get a Sharpie. Write T on it. Hopefully my rubbing won't wash it off. I do the same thing right there on the side. When my rollers fell out, got to be careful not to lose those. So then what I'll do, just put these back together so I don't lose the rod caps. I'll get a bag, just put a T on it. For top, there's our bottom piston, and two rollers fell out. Bearings, rollers, whatever you want to call them. Crank bearing, really good condition. That rolls just fine as well, as does the top. So I'll get rid of the seal after I pull the key out of there. But looks like it's going to be a pretty straightforward hone, re ring, reassemble. Should be okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is take off both bypass covers, the starter bracket version, and the exhaust side. Starter bracket, looks quite nice.
Got some carbon buildup, but I'll get it all cleaned up. Yep, looks uh, looks like a nice power head. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip off all the paint, repaint this thing. This one's white and it's going on an engine that's blue. So uh, yeah, that'll be my next video.